Hey everyone, how are you doing? Um, I decided I was going to do the tag, I don't remember what it is, but I'll put it in the, um, in the title. It's like 14 in 2014. So you're supposed to list 14 of your favorite items for the year. And so I'm going to start out with um, my Tretinoin Cream, my Retin-A, and my Clarisonic. So those are on the top of the list, and I just kind of combined them because they do go hand in hand. <clears throat> Maybe next year I'll have my vitamin C, but that's a brand new product. So uh, then the next item are the Real Technique brushes, and mine are dirty because they usually are. I mean, I deep clean them every now and again, but I mean, it's my skin, my bacteria, and I don't have a lot of breakouts. So I have a lot of the face brushes and several of the eye brushes and they are just wonderful. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'll be so happy when I get over this cold. They are just wonderful brushes for the price. Um, really great, great quality. And I've had mine for, I don't know, when did they come out? A couple years now? And they're just as good as they were the day I bought them. They're not fraying, they're not losing hairs, and I really like them. Okay, now that I have brushes all over everything. Then the next item are my IT Cosmetics um, cosmetics that I have. And uh, what do I have in here right now? I have my foundation in my purse. Um, and then my other stuff I don't have right here, but this is the CC Radiance palette and I'm going to show you how much I've loved this one. I still have the little plastic. It's your color correcting brightener. It's your naturally pretty blush and it's your perfect warmth bronzer. So yeah, the bronzer has taken a beating and it comes with a, a mirror here and, uh, yeah, the palette's pretty dirty. I mean, I try to clean it, but what are you going to do? It's a powder product. Okay, so then the next thing is my Maybelline, oh, I'm going to sneeze, Instant Age Rewind Eraser, the brightener. Oh, excuse me, I'm sorry. Um with the goji berry and this is the brightener one and I bought a new one in Vegas but I left it there but I'm getting to the point where I'm going to need another one of these and I just love that and I just put it all along here and then just tap it in um, the um, Rimmel makeup remover I've done empties videos and I've had several of these. I don't know how many I've gone through, 20, 30 at least of these. So I love the Revlon London, just let it go, makeup remover. It works well, it has a consistency of water, there's no oil to it. It removes everything gently, it doesn't irritate my eyes and I love it and it's like $5 for the bottle. Um, my Almay pencil liner, I actually have two of them because I can't remember what I have. So sometimes I have multiples, but I have two of them. And they are the Almay pencil liners and they are in the black. It's called it's Almay eyeliner. Oh, and I never knew that. There's a sharpener down here. <laughs> I just saw that when I read it, but I use a, well, I'll have to try that. But I use a regular pencil sharpener. Um, and then I just have it in black. So I have two of those. Um, <clears throat> my CoverGirl Clump Crusher Extensions Mascara. I really like this mascara and it really doesn't irritate my eyes. So that is definitely a bonus, but that is the brush. And it does get in there and it does grab all the lashes. I still like the formula of the uh, one that I got in the flower kit. I still like the formula of this one better, but I think it does irritate my eyes a little bit, but it's still too soon to tell. But I have this in whatever the black is black or very black. So really like this. 
you know, I honestly haven't found an expensive high-end mascara that I like better than the drugstores. So, and most of my makeup is drugstore. Okay, next is my nail buffer. I um, rediscovered buffing my nails, and this is smooth it down, buff it out, and then polish it. <clears throat> And my nails are nice and shiny and smooth. And the good thing about doing this is that you bring blood flow to the nail bed, and which helps promote, you know, growth. Plus, then your nail is just really shiny and it looks like you have clear polish on. I just buffed that one out. It looks like you have clear polish on and you don't. So I rediscovered buffing my nails. Um, next item which is number 10, I haven't been telling you the numbers, but that's okay, it is the Mary Kay Time Wise Repair uh, Value Firm Foaming Cleanser. I love this stuff. Um, it's four and a half ounces, it lasts forever. You need, let's see, this is my second tube and in almost in a year and a half. And that's what you need. That's what you need to wash your face. It's wonderful stuff doesn't irritate it's uh doesn't dry the, my skin out it leaves it nice and hydrated but not greasy feeling i mean it feels clean but it feels hydrated and not dried out and i use that with my clarisonic uh number 11 would be my elme tlc truly lasting color foundation and mine is in 240 beige and I first heard about this from Cindy, Cindy and OK, um, on her channel. Because I had been using the CoverGirl 3-in-1. And I actually do like this one better. It, the consistency is almost kind of like a mousse in a way, a little bit. I mean, it's a liquid foundation, but there's a little more substance to it. And um, I really like it. And I've got about that much left, so I will be repurchasing that. Although I should probably, I have some Mary Kay foundation I should probably use up first. Because I like that too. I just kind of remembered that. Um, oh, number 12, I have to reach over here. Sorry. Number 12 is the wet brush. And I believe I got this at Sally Beauty. This thing works really well. It's kind of like a tangle teaser. And so when I get out of the shower, I just take this and brush it through my hair and it works really well. It doesn't pull the hair, it doesn't tear the hair. And I got one for my daughter Liz and when we were in Vegas last summer, we went to Sally Beauty and her cousin Alicia, or Lee, was there and she was telling her how much she loved hers and so Lee got one. Uh, Cody, uh, number 13 would be my Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder. And I have it in translucent extra coverage. I really like this a lot. Um, it's been around for ages since 1935. So it's even older than I am, if you can believe that. And sometimes I use the puff. I should probably wash the puff. Um, and sometimes I use a brush. I usually use the puff and just kind of press it in. Um, but I really like that. And then the last, and I don't have either out here with me, and this isn't beauty related, but it's my iPad Air that I got in January or February of last year, or of 2014. And then my new iPhone 6 Plus, I just love it. I had to wait almost eight weeks for them to ship it to me. And, um, but I really like it. So, oh, and I need a screen protector for it. And, I don't know, I'm not sure which one to get, but we'll figure that out later. So anyway, I wanted to do that. Um, Colleen had done this and Mary Ellen uh, Sensational After 60 had done it and Natalie, the beauty diva, she had, I think she created it. And um, so this was fun to do. So I tag everyone who wants to do it. If you haven't done it and you do videos, beauty videos, do it, show us what you guys like. So. All right, well, thanks for watching, and um, Happy New Year 2015, and I will see you in the next video. You take care. Bye.